I know riding a bike isn't like ballet dancing or something that takes a, a ton of coordination, but I don't know about you guys, but I always feel a little funky during the, the early season rides um, after taking some time off and riding the trainer where you don't have to, to really do anything. So I like to work on a few things during my base rides and I wanted to share them with you today. All right, first one is getting a bottle from your cage. This is trickier than it seems actually. So what I like to do is put myself on a line like this and try to hold that line while getting my bottle out. That kind of simulates riding in a group, you know, where you need to hold your line. Um, yeah, and it's harder than it, it looks. Do it with uh, varying cadences, maybe from both water bottle cages if you have two in your frame. Um, yeah, definitely a good thing to work on. All right, next one here is getting arrow on your bike. I think this is something that a ton of people forget to do during races. So when I'm doing like a boring, just zone two ride, I like to do like five or 10 minutes in this arrow position, which is a lot harder than you think. Um, it takes some muscle um, conditioning and practice to balance in that good arrow position. So another good thing to work on. All right, this one's a little more nuanced, but transitioning from seated to standing and back. So when you stand up and sit down, oftentimes if you're in a group or a pace line, um, you kind of move backwards in it because you let off the power. So I like to work on really making a, a fluid transition and not letting off the power at all. Um, yeah, it's a little tricky, so something to, to try. You can do this one on your trainer, that's a bonus, but um, yeah, another good thing. All right, next one, doing a sprint. So this is another thing that probably everyone is rolling their eyes, but if you roll up to your first race and you haven't ripped the sprint, it's gonna feel pretty awkward. So I like to do a few little sprints, you know, nothing super hard going for max power or anything, but just to, to get the coordination down and um, be fluid on the bike. All right, next is cornering. And I like to start slow, start with the fundamentals. And I like to practice shifting and braking before the corner. You know, if you are shifting or braking in the corner, you can open yourself up to pedal strikes and sliding and all sorts of bad things. So I like to, to start slow in the beginning of the season and just remind myself to, yeah, shift and brake before entering the corner. All right, last but not least, a little bonus, mountain bike oriented, but it also applies to road, is looking down the trail. So you don't wanna fall into the trap of staring at your front wheel for obvious reasons. So I like to really exaggerate in the beginning of the season, looking down the trail, looking where you want to go. Um, super fundamental skill to, to bike riding all around. All right, that'll do it for me. I hope those tips slash drills, whatever they are, help you guys out. Um, I hope you all are getting out there on the bike. I know it's tough um, for us Northern Hemisphere people. It's cold, it's hard, but believe me, it's gonna pay dividends when we start racing. And yeah, keep an eye out for more videos and thanks again for watching.